CataractCoach.com. When the anterior lens capsule wrinkles, what do you do? You know what indicates some degree of zonular laxity. Let me show you this unedited routine case, start to finish. Complete cataract case here. So there's the paracentesis. Putting some anesthetic in, everything looks pretty normal. Good dilation, no history of any prior trauma. Put our viscoelastic in, and again, everything looks pretty normal. Normal AC depth. I don't sense any zonular laxity at this point. So we'll make our main incision here using a diamond keratome. And we'll make our 2.2 millimeter phaco incision here at the temporal limbal vessels. And that goes inside pretty easily. Nice tunnel length. And now let's look at the lens capsule. So we're going with our forceps. Here's the part you're waiting for. As we go in with our forceps, now these are pretty sharp. We can poke down in the middle and I can't poke through. And I try again. I try just to scrape along the surface, and it's really difficult for me to puncture the lens capsule. Now, there's a lot of wrinkling going on here, so now I'm getting a little nervous. This forcep is just not sharp enough to penetrate, so I'm going to stop here. And I'll try a couple more times, but to no avail, doesn't work. This is where a cystitome or bent needle may help, but I don't have one on the field right now. So I'll just use that same side port blade from the beginning, wiggle it there with the incision, and that's nice and sharp. And from that, I'll just poke in the lens capsule, and then we can get the capsule flipped over. And now I'm going to watch very carefully as I tear the capsule. Is there zion or weakness? Do I see more wrinkling? At this point, not really. So I measured out in my mind to see what's a 5 millimeter rexus, and we'll complete the rexus, and it all goes pretty normally. So maybe just a little bit of zonal laxity that we saw there. You know, it was global. It wasn't focal. There was no prior trauma. There wasn't one quadrant that was very weak. It was just all around. So the rex is completed. It's definitely five millimeters of diameter. It's well centered. And it looks pretty good so far. I'll watch carefully during higher dissection. Fluid wave goes across. Again, everything looks pretty normal. Oh, it wants to come out of the bag. I'll take it. In a case like this with suspected zonal laxity, I really enjoy getting these lenses out of the capsule bag because when I bring it up like this, I know there'll be less stress on the zonular support here. A little bit of higher delineation. You can see there's an endonucleus that's been delineated. Vaco probe going inside the eye here. We can buzz right in the middle, chop that in half. Nucleus removal is going to be pretty efficient. Again, this is an unedited case, a little bit more than six minutes, so it's, it's reasonably efficient. Taking the cataract pieces out, not a super dense cataract, despite the patient's age. This patient is almost 90 years old. And so we'll take out that nucleus pretty easily. I'm going nice and slowly. Just want to keep an eye on things. I want to make sure that the caps or bags not floating around too much. That it's not kind of flapping back there with the fluidic currents. And it's hard to see, but I think it's okay. My, my spider senses are telling me that everything looks pretty normal. Not really suspect anything. Chopper in that safe position just to make sure the posterior capsule doesn't come up. Get that nucleus out of the eye pretty quickly and efficiently. And it's completely gone. There it is. Gone. Now, again, I'm looking and I'm seeing a good rexus. Now, remember, if you had a quadrant of bad zonal support, that rexus would go from round to kind of shaped like the letter D. And that's because the area where the flat part of the D is... That'd be the zonal loss, but I don't see that. Now, cortex removal, very important. As we do this, I'm watching the rexus edge. I want to make sure the rexus stays round. And I'm also looking out there towards the capsule bag equator, making sure I don't see the capsule bag equator. So far, so good. It looks pretty clean. I'm going a little slower than I normally would for cortex removal, just to be a little extra cautious. Now, the question here is, do you put in a capsule tension ring? There was some zonal laxity at the beginning, and you could put one in, but I don't think you have to. And again, surgeon judgment here, and in my call for this patient, I decided not to put in the caps retention ring. So clean up the caps or bag very nicely. Again, good support, enough support that it's really maintaining a nice looking rexus. I'm doing a little capsule polishing. If it is the weak zonal support, I don't want to leave a a whole lot of fibrosis in the future. So I want to really clean up the capsule bag, do a little bit of capsule polishing. And again, it looks like a pretty reasonable rexus. I'll take it. 
So now there goes our cohesive viscoelastic filling up the capsule bag. And why don't we do a little capsule polishing here too? Let's just polish things up here a little bit. Make sure that uh, we remove as much of those lens epithelial cells as we can. And that's pretty clean. It's not too bad, actually. I've enhanced the red reflex for our video viewing. And you can see a little bit of lens material. So let's get the lens in. Eye well is going inside the eye. And it's a pretty average case. I think the eye well power was 22 or somewhere in that ballpark. So nothing out of the ordinary. Here comes the lens going in the capsule bag. And again, I don't suspect any more issues. So not sure why I had capsule wrinkling at the very beginning. Maybe you could say the forcep tips weren't sharp enough, but you know I've used those same forceps for lots and lots of cases. Maybe the patient had a thicker than average anterior lens capsule. Maybe. Maybe there's just global zonular weakness, as you'd expect in someone who's just about 90 years old. That could be it too. But fortunately, all's well that ends well. So all we had to do in this case was use something sharper to poke into the anterior lens capsule. For most surgeons, that'd be a cystotome. For me, in this case, it was just the side port blade, which is nice and sharp. And you can see there's that rexus, five millimeter rexus overlapping the optic beautifully, stays centered, lens looks great, so it's good support. Don't anticipate any issues at all. And this patient, I can tell you, had a beautiful outcome with no issues at all. In the post-op period, no, no pseudofigurodinesis either. That lens is very stable. Very minimal amount of movement there, and a nice result. So when you see capsule wrinkling in the future, be cautious, but you know what? Sometimes you can just do a normal case.